Hi guys, so today on your assignment, um, you are working on estimating. So we talked about a little bit yesterday about what estimating is. So estimating is um, coming up with numbers that are close to the numbers that you have to find an answer that may be close but not exactly the same. I'll give you an example. So if I give you the numbers 271, plus 310 and I say I want you to estimate to the nearest hundred and find the answer so you're gonna look where's the hundreds place so this is a hundreds place this is the hundreds place so we're gonna estimate to the nearest hundred Okay, so I'm going to think, is 271 closer to 300 or is it closer to 200? Um, and 7, you look back to this number, 7 is closer to, it's bigger than 5, so we're going to round it up to 300 because 271 is closer to 300. So we would turn this into 300. And then we think, is 310 closer to 300? Or is it closer to 400? And it's closer to 300. We'd round right here. And then add these two together. And you can easily do 300 plus 300 equals 600. And this is what estimating sums looks like. Um, I'll give you another example. So to, in today's assignment, they're going to ask you to add estimate by adding and subtracting to the nearest 10. So if I do the nearest 10, so 53 plus 37. Okay, so you're gonna find the tens place in these numbers. So the first one is the ones place, the second one is the tens place, so these are the tens place. You're around to the nearest 10. So you're gonna think it's 53 closer to 50, or is it closer to um, 60? And you look back, is 3 bigger than 5 or lower than 5? And it's lower, so you're going to turn this into 50. And you're going to think, is 37 closer to 40 or is it closer to 30? Since 7 is bigger than 5, you're going to round up to 40. So now you have 50 plus 40. Those two together, you're gonna get 90. And that is estimating. Let me do one example with subtraction. So they may ask you to do, um, let's do 72 minus 45. Round to the nearest 10 and find your answer by estimating. So you're gonna look here and you're gonna think is 70 closer to seven or 72 closer to 70 or is it closer to 80? 72 is closer to 70. So you're around down. Now is 45 closer to 50 or is it closer to 40? And since when we're estimating, if we're right in the middle, if we're at five, we're gonna round up. Five and up, we round up. Anything below five, we round down. So 45 would be closer to 50. So now you can do 70 minus 50 and get your answer 20. You have your answer right there. So today you're gonna to work on estimating by adding and subtracting. Make sure you're doing your estimates. Don't find the exact answer. I want you to practice estimating, rounding your numbers and then estimating to the right number. Reach out to me if you have any questions. I would love to help you guys.